Please welcome the hard-hitting, undefeated, interim IBF welterweight world champion, introducing Jerron hard-hitting IBF world rank number two welterweight contender introducing Roy Mann Flaco de Oro Villa We scheduled about 12 rounds I've gone over the rules in the dressing room I expect to obey my commands at all times most of all protections I've at all times touch gloves good luck Round one, Philadelphia coming to Atlantic City as the Phil is fighting for the third time. And a high ring IQ. Two inch reach advantage, will try to take advantage. Jerron boots and his jab here in the... And early in this fight... Is about getting his daily recommended 10,000 steps <laughs> into his physical prime is Jerron boots and his first frame. Already yeah, throwing... Definitely not Villa is going to be for Roy Villa. Cuts with both hands. Mm -hmm. Via tried to counter with yes. his own Amazing. Left. I was just going to give that number out. It's staggering. That's a the lot problem of is, is For him, Rashid Yellis is not a big power punch early on uh, and is being able to use that jab, landing that way of the right for hand. One round. Compared to just he is fighting his first round as a righty and has stayed that way in us. For Via, and it's credited with 13 jabs. That came in 2019 via split decision. So, Trump. And unlike Karan Chukajan, right. if he does, in fact. Yeah, you saw a tense right there. Stays above. just out of range. Yeah, with that jab. Round as Ennis continues to go to work on Via Alvi. Oh, he's really enjoying himself right now, Ennis. Being in a nice exchange. Great round up and after two. He's starting to land the heavier thunder. Yeah, and Via's trying to counter oh, with his that Inside, too, outside, everything. <laughs> yeah, offensively. Good by Via, but then... And it comes back, and even when he gets hit, doesn't pass. These segments of the fight, even if if Via ends up taking through it, he landed 16 of 60 jabs. The welterweight average is five of 23. But those straight lefts and the jabs have really had an impact already. He's, he's one of the most versatile fighters. Oh, a nice uppercut, uppercut on Villa. the inside, what he wants, and he's been able to get some nice shots in. Uh, and so has Ennis. Straight left, there's a right. Hook. And it continues to help himself, whether orthodox or do perfect circles in the center of the ring as he continues to move off that jab, doing that right now. And this is one of the most versatile uh, offensive fighters in the world. We had seen blood from the nose. In order to land one big shot, and you know, so far he's gotten his own shots too. Yeah, that jab is blinding Villa right now. But you know, you want to see one. And the crowd, the partisan crowd here in Atlantic City, curled that right behind the high guard of Villa. And that's a that's a power jab that uh, Ennis is... But it looks to me like there might be a small cut around the left eye as they're at close quarters. But again, it's, it's Ennis staying in the inside for too long. And with his credentials, with his rational... The last time Villa... Uh, in a defensive way. There's a jab that lands for Villa. Watch your feet, watch your feet. Now Villa concentrating on lead, have that lead hand. Ennis. Oh, oh, counter right hands both known for their knockouts and here in Madron boots mm -hmm. until he gets a title fight is a potential trap fight yeah, and here we absolutely. have him against Roymond Villa this time Villa faced a lefty and we mm -hmm. see Ennis fighting as a softball yeah, he throws the quick jab oh and Villa looking for the uppercut misses and and as good misses with a sweeping right hook and Abner there's yeah. the hand speed of Jerome Boutsenis. Oh, and they would say that he's a great counter puncher also. And this time, yeah. this guy does it. And upstairs for Villa, right up. Feel about this fight. We knew this coming in. And here in round three, they are going toe to toe. Another uppercut right. lands for Villa. And he right good stuff here in round mm. three. Well, that was. How you feel? Yo, keep stabbing. Don't stay in that same spot. Bro. I want you to move. Don't be there. I'm gonna tell you when it's when it get breaking down. Yeah, but one thing's for sure, he is going to keep trying. Jerome Boots Ennis, two minutes. Every punch available in his arsenal, and he varies his... Uh, uh, very much. Right, Villa was looking for the home run. Yeah, as long as you always beat Villa. That momentarily bothered Ennis, and Villa now putting on the pressure. Again, Lance. Boots. Left in the fifth frame. And there, mm. left, right, Villa sitting down in his punch. This is a normal Villa. This yeah, is how he fought. Another body shot by Ennis. Then what the punch placement, the timing. It's the guard again for Ennis. Goes to back to the ball. Switching back to righty. 
be successful is if you're at, uh, Ennis. But he, he's going to have a hard time if he doesn't get fit. Ennis trying to roll with them, trying to block them, going to the body. Yeah, but we still haven't seen any body fight. Final minute of the fourth. You don't want to let him get it, let him get out first like he's doing right there. So that will set up the punches upstairs. And another thing is that Bia does not get this 39% of his power punches, landing mm. at 42% tonight. Bobs and weaves under that one. Body attack by Ennis. Almost kept coming. I mean, Ennis is winning this one. He needs to work the body breakdown, Ennis. Both, uh, you know, create knockdowns and knockouts. Yeah, that's Drawn in is on display, just moving and such quick reflexes. Well, that was quite an eventful round. This is round number five, scheduled for 12. Counter right hand lands on Villa's face. I mean, that he, proves he, to be the difference. That's why he's yeah, here tonight. Yeah. Tonight, that's everything other than the jab. So he's, he's pretty close to his average. Some kind of attempt by Villa. Right hook to the body. And Villa to, you know, stop his, his uh, offense. So yeah, he carries that power up to the 12th round. Oh, and there's a hand speed. The sidestep and a beautiful uppercut. But yes, oh, Ennis is right dominating. Right. And, and a reminder that in the fight with Rashidi Ellis, this was happening here. There's a nice left hand to the body. Now there's head movement from Via. That's important. And there's a place where Via needs to be. Oh, there's a jab and power from Ennis. Chopping right hand. Via with the right. There's a lead right hand by Via. Counter left by. Straight left hand lands for Ennis. Right hook. Okay. Is the jab that Ennis is just one in his last oh. recent fight. <laughs> Via with that left hook upstairs, the... We come to the end of five. Diablo, Diablo. work, he landed downstairs, and there he gets the right uppercut in. That was an excellent shot. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. Yo, keep boxing, yeah, keep boxing. The rhythm with the jab to begin round six. With big shots, you know, he wants to land one big one himself. There's oh, that right hand by Via. He's thrown about 11 more cards again. Chopping right hand, mm. and VFD fighters who will vie to become the first undisputed welterweight champion in the. But again, you know, B is still dangerous. Still oh, in this fight, he's going not... for the right yeah. hand. Yep. Mm -hmm. Seven less than a minute remaining. Stands. Meanwhile, Bia continues to march forward, but gets down in his last day fight. So he's created knockdowns just like Crawford. Let's bring in our unofficial in danger here. Mm. When he's not hurt. Oh, but that left uppercut hurt him. Bruised, battered, but he's still standing, still throwing punches. I know that uh, V. Oh, right hand, right uppercut. They complete the first half of this fight. Turned out to be his best power punch of the fight. A beautiful. Ennis takes another couple right hands. Via misses with the uppercut, clubbing right hook here. Get some serious shots. In the sixth round, same old, same old. Evans winning every round, although the fifth was close. 60-50. Yeah. He doesn't doesn't often get counted. Slipping by him. Jerron Ennis at the halfway mark. In the seventh. And it's really one of the first rounds in which Via is throwing the point. Yeah, he gets to an angle where he's not going to be able to get, get caught. Round at number seven. Undefeated, Jerron Boots Ennis, the once at Over on top, so he's waiting for Hands that. lower. Right uppercut, left hook. A chin made of tungsten steel oh. for Roy Monfield. Uh, more from Ennis as the lefty. Again, there's the uppercut. Now in his last two fights, 
big you know, he, with something with the, with the this. Oh, nice combination oh. by Ennis and Villas just still standing there. He's, uh, he's opening up for that uppercut yeah. that, that Ennis throws. But he hasn't faced that super big puncher. Villa is a good puncher. Wow. He's trying, but Raymond Villa proving to be a tough he's, he's, he's getting hit too much. Mm. Well, his promoter, Samson oh, right Lukowicz, in between shots, which is in the, the outside uh, range, and and to decided to go in the inside. Double left hand on the inside. Roymond Villa getting rocked upstairs still. In a... Right hook lands, left hand lands. Yeah, said that he would win by a knockout in the ninth round. Well, we'll see. That doesn't look, that's not looking too pretty. Come on, man, look at him. Yes, please. Unable to stop them, but here tonight, Trying value. He continues to eat the jab. <laughs> Left hand. In that last mm -hmm. round, it. That's what we thought. He was fighting on the inside leg with it. Oh, Lippinger might like get something done. He got exchange body shots in the final seconds of round. You gotta listen a little more. You gotta listen a little more to the corner. You gotta keep throwing. Away. Not they're gonna stop the fight. Raymond Villa between rounds. Counter punching. I mean, we've pretty much seen everything that is, you know, to do as a point after. He's he's thinking in there. It's mm -hmm. not like he's by Ennis. Mm -hmm. He landed some beauties, and it did not. Body shots by yeah. Ennis. Nothing done. Oh, resulted no. in one of the more yeah. memorable knockouts of Jerron Boots at his career. The first yeah, fun. But using the jab. Stop Ennis. Counter misses okay. with the left uppercut frame. Ennis frames him. Oh, then took the uppercut. And you would think that he would not be thinking straight, speaking of Villa, but he came in in this round. Yes. Mouth piece. Spectacular style. Yeah. Uh, about Ennis, does he have a chin? Can he take a punch? Well, so far he's taking Villa's shots too. I will not disagree with Steve Farmer oh, in this fight. Not a right hand from Villa. <laughs> <laughs> Round number nine, double left by Ennis punctuating. Keep working, keep working. Move your waist. You ready, champ? You're gonna stop the fight, so you gotta keep going. Round ten. Trying to set a trap, trying to bait mm -hmm. and He's used to hurting people with it. Righty, we'll see how that works out. One counter right. You know, this has been yeah. a dumb. All right, we uh, tell Via, you got to show me something. Lightning quick. Yeah. Via comes in and meets a heavy. Oh, the left, the right. And Via goes down for the first time in his career. And it is over. Gerard Boots Ennis vanquishes Roy. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a time of 1 minute 27 seconds in round number 10. He is the winner by way of knockout. Boots, Gerard.